Good evening, Kate. I'm Maria, Rick's fiance. Can we chat now? Nice to meet you, Maria. I'm sorry to drop in on you like this. I wanted to get in touch with you directly, so I asked Rick to give me your WhatsApp ID. Don't worry, my brother told me I'd be hearing from you. What a pity we couldn't meet today. I'm sorry. It's a dinner of both our families and I couldn't attend. Well, it couldn't be helped. You're busy with work, aren't you? I really wanted to be there, but I had a meeting I couldn't miss. Hmm. By the way, the reason I contacted you, I wanted to confirm something. What is it? Kate, I heard you only graduated from high school. Huh? Uh, yes. Why didn't you go to college? Your brother Rick graduated from college. It's not like your parents didn't have money, right? Perhaps... Is it because you were not good at studying? No, it's not like that. I'm sure there are many reasons, but it's rare to only have a high school diploma nowadays, isn't it? I guess so. I knew what I wanted to do. I didn't feel the need to go to college. You may have heard about my family. Everyone in my family is highly educated. My grandparents, my parents, and of course me, all graduated from top universities. Oh, I see. Rick also graduated from a prestigious university, right? Yes, he did. Do you know what I mean? I'm sorry, I don't understand. Yikes! I knew you poorly educated people are slow. Excuse me? Well, it's okay. You'll understand in time. Well then, if you'll excuse me... Kate, my wedding is coming up soon. Will you be there? Of course. You're still busy with work, right? Are you sure you'll be okay coming all the way to Paris? Yes, I'm fine. It's your wedding. No matter how busy I am, I'll come. Thank you, Kate. Ever since we decided to get married, I've been indebted to you for everything. That's not true. It's just... Yes? You said you sent plane tickets to Paris to every guest to the wedding, right? Yeah. I think we already made the flight and hotel arrangements. Actually, I made my own arrangements for both. What? It looks like mom and dad got their tickets, but for some reason, I didn't get them. Also, seems like no hotel reservations for me either. Seriously? Yeah. Sorry. Maria said she'd take care of all the flight and hotel arrangements. I left it completely to her. It's okay. I wish I'd known sooner, but I've been so busy with work that I forgot all about it. Still, it's strange, isn't it? Did Maria misunderstand that you weren't coming? I thought I replied the RSVP that I'm coming. Maria must have not wanted me to come. That's not true. Maria said she was looking forward to meeting you. Is that so? What's up? Is there something that's bugging you? No, it's nothing. Well, it seems Maria was contacting you the other day. Did she say anything to you then? She seemed to be concerned about my academic background. Academic background? She said it's rare to only have a high school diploma nowadays. What's that? What do you mean? I don't really understand either. I'll try not to worry too much about it. Anyway, I got a hotel and a plane. I'm looking forward to the day of the wedding. That's great. I'll have to go separately from mom and dad, though. Are you going to be on time for the wedding? The flight arrives in the morning of the day, so it'll be last minute. It's going to be a little hectic, but I've been to Paris many times for work, and I'm used to getting around the city, so I'll be fine. I see. Unlike me, you go abroad all the time. 
but you'll have to let me cover the expenses. I'm really sorry for making you arrange it yourself. That's okay, no big deal. No way. I'm putting a burden on you. I suck as a brother. Don't sweat it. Anyway, it's been two years since I've seen you. That's right. I've been away for work. I even missed the dinner with Maria's family. Don't worry about it. Her parents understand why you are so busy. When I see them on the wedding day, I'll make sure to greet them politely. Great. Can't wait to see you. Hi, Kate. I heard from Rick that you arranged your own flight and hotel. Yes, I guess there was some kind of mistake and mine wasn't booked. But I'm glad I made it in time. I just arrived at the venue. Oh, you really came to the venue? Yes, I did. You shocked me. What? What brings you to Paris for our wedding? Wait, what? To celebrate Rick and your marriage. The only people I invited to the wedding this time are family members. I know. That's why I, as Rick's sister, will be participating in the ceremony. As I'm saying, I told you that only family members were invited. Yes? We didn't even invite our friends this time. How dare you try to join my family? Are you trying to say I'm not family? You know, I think I told you before. We come from a highly educated family. If you, a mere high school graduate, came into our family like that, you'd be overwhelmed. Really? You'd lower my family's prestige. I see. A college graduate and a high school graduate are different kinds of people. I mean, you're a stranger. You're the only one I didn't invite for today. Are you saying that only my plane ticket and hotel weren't prepared? I just wasn't planning to prepare them from the beginning. I can't believe that you would arrange by yourself and even come to Paris. It's beyond me. Oh, I knew it. Maybe because you only graduated from high school and didn't study properly, you haven't learned any common sense. With such an insane sister, even Rick would want nothing to do with you. Excuse me? Are you saying that my brother thinks the same way as you? That I'm not family? Of course! When he proposed to me, he said, You are the most important person in my life. In other words, you are no longer important to him. Right? Just leave us alone. No, that's... That's a really twisted interpretation of his proposal, don't you think? I've never heard such things as cutting off siblings just because you got married. Shut up! Anyway, you are a stranger. Of course, we didn't even save a seat for you. Please go back to L.A. as soon as possible. Okay, fine. From now on, we're strangers, right? Yep. That's what I've been saying for a while now. I see. Well, then, since I've come all the way to Paris, I'll do a little work and go home. What? Work? Oh, you mean you'll go back to your hotel and work remotely? You're still a workaholic, aren't you? I'm not working remotely. What? I'm done with you. Goodbye. Maria, I can't see you at all. Where are you now? I got a call from the airport that you've arrived. And you're already at the ceremony, right? Rick, I'm sorry, but I probably won't be able to attend the wedding. Why? Don't tell me you had an accident on the way here. I went to the ceremony, but there was no seat for me. What? But you came all the way to Paris. How come? I mean, what do you mean there was no seat for you? Have you heard anything from Maria yet? What about her? Maria didn't arrange my flight and hotel. She didn't want me to come from the beginning. What the heck? She said I'm not family. I'm a stranger. What the hell is that? 
She doesn't consider you as family? I guess so. She told me to go back to L.A. as soon as possible. But you are my sister. I've come all the way to Paris, so I'm going to work and go home. Ask Maria about the details. And then, you yourself can decide what you want to do in the future. Got it. I have no idea what's going on, but... Anyway, I'll ask Maria. Maria, what are you doing now? I'm in the waiting room, putting the finishing touches on my makeup. I hope you're looking forward to seeing me in my wedding dress. I have a question for you. What is it? I just got off the phone with Kate. Kate said she won't be attending the ceremony. Oh, that? She's so out of line. What? I already said from the beginning that today's ceremony is only for family. I can't believe she went to the trouble of arranging her own flight and hotel and came all the way to Paris even though she wasn't invited. Well, I made it clear that I didn't want her to attend, so there's no seat for her when she comes. She seriously has no common sense to try to attend a ceremony when she's not even family. Which one of you has no common sense? What do you mean? Kate is my sister. What the hell were you thinking making my sister absent without my permission? It's because Kate isn't family. Why do you insist that Kate isn't family? Because Kate only graduated from high school. Everyone in my family is highly educated. Even you graduated from a top university. I can't accept Kate as a member of our family. You sent Kate home for such a stupid reason? What's wrong with a high school graduate? Is education really that important? After all, education is everything, right? A high school graduate is so stupid, I don't believe we're the same level. That's why it's a good thing you cut Kate off, Rick. What the heck? I don't remember cutting myself off from Kate. Because you told me that I'm the most important person in the world to you. In other words, Kate is not important to you, right? You are crazy to interpret it that way. What? You're kidding me. I'm disappointed you twisted my proposal in such a way. I... Maria, you've done a terrible thing. What do you mean? I'll be in touch soon. Rick? Hey, Rick. It's already past the ceremony time. Where did you go? And I can't find my relatives anywhere. They're gathered in the lobby with me and my relatives. What? Why? To discuss. Discuss? Maria, cancel the wedding. What? We're breaking off the engagement. What? I have both parents look at the WhatsApp together just now. They all agreed with my decision. Why? You don't know why? I have to hear the reasons to be convinced. Because you tried to exclude my sister, my precious family member, from the wedding today. What do you mean? Disrespecting people based on their educational background is disgusting. My parents and your parents, they all thought the same way I did. What the heck? You're saying it's okay to have a high school graduate in the family? You still say that. Besides, we came all the way to Paris to get married at the fancy place. If a low-educated person from the bottom of the hierarchy participates, the ceremony will be tainted. You really are beyond repair to insult Kate like that. Because it's the truth. I mean, she didn't have to come all the way to Paris if she doesn't have any money. She must have been craving for Paris. I told you this before. The reason we were able to rent this wedding hall at a lower price than usual is thanks to Kate. Wait, what? You do indeed know that Kate runs an apparel company, right? 
What? Kate is the CEO of the company? Didn't you listen to me at all? Because Kate graduated from high school. I thought she was working for a small company for minimum wages. Enough of that prejudice. Your imagination is effed up. Kate graduated high school and started her own business. She's making many times what I'm making now. You're kidding! Kate leaves the domestic stores to her employees, travels the world on her own to search for suppliers. Paris is no exception. Thanks to the connections she made, she was able to get us this wedding venue at a discount, since we're Kate's relatives. Huh? You know, the reason we decided to have the wedding in Paris in the first place. You insisted on getting married abroad. Uh... I want to go to Europe for our honeymoon. I want to have the wedding in Europe. That's what you said, right? But I've hardly ever been overseas. I talked to Kate about it, and she was willing to help me find a place for the wedding. But you kicked Kate out of the wedding. Rick? So of course, the ceremony is cancelled. And I'll have to cancel our engagement as well. Wait a minute. We came all the way to Paris and you're canceling the ceremony? Of course. How can I have a wedding if I'm not going to marry you? I'm not breaking off our engagement for sure. You told me that I was the most important thing in the world to you. Were those words a lie? I didn't know your true nature at the time, but now I do. I won't marry someone who makes fun of my precious sister. It's not my fault. I didn't know Kate was the CEO. If she wasn't the CEO, would it be okay to make fun of her because of her education? Wait, let's discuss this properly between the two of us. I'm sorry, but I don't want to see your face right now. We'll have a proper discussion once we're in LA. Oh no. I'm going to arrange separate accommodations for you and me. We'll stay separately until we get back to L.A. Huh? We're not staying in the same hotel? I don't want to be in the same room. We're going to be husband and wife, and it's terrible to be separated. We're not going to be a couple. Okay, then. Oh, no. Wait. I'm not waiting. Rick! Goodbye. Kate, please, come back to the ceremony now. You can attend the ceremony. If you don't, he'll break off the engagement. I'll treat you as one of my family members. That way, everything will be alright, and today's wedding won't have to be cancelled. Kate! Kate, I've called off the wedding. I see. You called it off after all. Did Maria agree? She didn't understand the cause and seemed unhappy about it. But I got both parents to agree to call off the engagement. I see. Everyone was shocked. Maria's parents never looked down on anyone because of their education. I don't know why she turned out the way she did. I know. I never thought she'd harass me like that for having a high school diploma. Well, Maria's mother said Maria got into a famous university, but her job hunting didn't go well, and she couldn't get the job she wanted. I think she's just clinging to her academic background. I see. That's why she got so mad and made fun of me. I'm really sorry. You came all the way to Paris and she made you feel terrible. Well, it's just like I came here to work as well. Don't worry about it, Rick. You're still a very active CEO. Oh, wait a minute. I just noticed. I'm getting endless messages from Maria. What's she saying? She wants me to come back to the wedding. 
Damn, she's not giving up. It's like she thinks it'll all go away if I go to the wedding. Sorry, you don't have to deal with her anymore. You can block her if you want. The engagement will be officially called off when I get back to L.A., but you don't need to be involved with Maria anymore. Okay, I'll do that. Oh, I wonder if you'll need a lawyer to break off the engagement? Well, it's going to be very complicated. I think I should have a lawyer come in between us. Want me to introduce someone through my company's legal counsel? That will be helpful. Can I ask you to do that? Okay, I'll call them later. Thank you very much. By the way, Kate, are you free tonight? I was wondering if you'd like to have dinner with Mom and Dad. Sure. It's nice to get together as a family for the first time in a while. Okay, I'll call you later. Okay. While I was in Paris, Maria contacted me several times. I ignored it as my brother told me to. She was too persistent, so I blocked her. After returning to L.A., my brother and Maria broke off their engagement. It seems that there was some discussion about compensation fee and so on. In the end, it was decided that Maria would pay all the expenses for the wedding. Even so, Maria was not satisfied. She stormed into Rick's workplace, going AWOL from work. She came at him like a demon, demanding that they get back together. The police were immediately called and she was taken care of by the police. Eventually, Maria was fired from her job. She became emotionally unstable, withdrew to her parents' house, and began a life of shut-in. However, her parents soon kicked her out. She now lives in a small shabby apartment and working part-time jobs to make ends meet. As for me, there was a man I started dating around the time Rick's marriage was finalized. He finally proposed to me the other day. My parents, as well as my brother, are as happy about my marriage as if it were their own. Until now, my life has been centered around work. From now on, I would like to spend more time with my family. Thank you for watching. Please rate the video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.